Hey, welcome back to the Rusty Dusty Picker Channel. As some of you know, this is the place where we um, reimagine items um, from all sorts of sales, um, things that are undervalued, or we want to recreate into something more valuable or keep out of the uh, keep out of the landfills. And um, and this is no this is not going to be an easy task for us. But I've got two pieces here. One is this little pedestal, which I've had for a little while. It's, you know, it strikes me as sort of a Hobby Lobby type of a, or Michael's type of a piece. Um, you know, stands about 14 inches tall. And I came across for $3 this absolutely beautiful um, brass or bronze. We'll figure it out. Um labrador retriever cut out sort of a thing it's it's quite stable it's it's got some heft to it um but it's really cool so and that you know that itself is about eight and a half inches so what i want to do is simply take this pedestal put the lab on the pedestal and just leave it alone i'm not i wouldn't even try to affix it um, onto there. It would just be be its own thing on somebody's shelf or um, or what have you. Or above the fireplace, entryway, whatever, side table. Um, but yeah. But I think that the challenge is going to be with this is going to be to um, I need to lighten this up. It does, there's not enough contrast. Um, hey, it doesn't look too bad that way either. Um but yeah, either way, I need to lighten this piece up, um, whether it be with paint or with stain. Um, interesting that I, I had a I had a white pickling stain, which would be per perfect for this because I don't want anything overpowering. I don't mind having some um, some of the darker color coming through. So I think I have a gray stain that I might try to combine with. Um, with some white or off-white paint so that would be a what would that be that would be a staint that's a good word staint or it could be a pain yeah all right well it probably will be a pain but all right let me let me assemble the stuff and we'll try to figure this out okay so let's see how much of a mess we can actually make and uh we certainly can can make a mess around here sometimes um Another element to this, which isn't part of the piece, but this is a scallop shell. I just I came across for two dollars, two large bags full. I think that people use these for catering. I'm not sure if it's real, um, but usually they'll make a you know they'll do bay scallops or sea scallops and put them in it back in the shell. Um, anyway, it's perfect for painting in this in this purpose. So, all right, what I'm using is an old gray stain that I had around. So I'm going to probably rather sloppily pour some into into the scallop shell and then I'm going to top that with some some off-white paint swirl it around <clears throat> and see if we can't uh, can't do something to brighten up this pedestal so there's the beginning of the mess he's and he's adding to it got all the noises going no charge for that, by the way. And do a little mixing. Just trying to get it incorporated. Really not concerned, per usual, is getting it completely together. But I can see, I don't know if you can, the the swirls of the paint mixing with the with the stain so as I apply this I, I like to keep around brushes that have um, have been used with oil oil based products and, and have a little stiffness to them still because I'm not trying to paint the piece like I said that was the whole the whole purpose of making a mess here was to um, was just to, to just to lighten it up so let's see how this goes this might uh, this might end up on the cutting room floor, floor but um, I don't know, probably not. So, 
just give it enough to get started. And once again, the dog will, the dog is simply going to stand on top of this, um, fairly stable pedestal. So yeah, I mean, that's kind of the look I'm going for. Just, you know, <clears throat> some heavy application, light application, heavy at the edges, light at the edges, however it comes out. So we'll do the same for the rest of the piece. Got the gray mixing with the what was vanilla paint. I have to be careful here now. See, I'm making a mess. I just sprayed the dog in the face with vanilla with this uh, with this paint. So we will put him back in his crate and continue. All right, so I'm moving along here. I've uh... I've done uh, the top and the sides and some of the trim up towards the top. Still have the bottom to do. Need to let it dry so I can flip it over. I'm actually, I am going to do the other side uh, just for the heck of it. Just in case if by chance um, I use it horizontally. But I'm not sure that I'm going to use that option. But anyway, just a couple more brush strokes here on this bottom. I'm using as little of the pain or stint as I can to kind of make my point. I'm trying to keep the brush strokes all on each area, all in the same direction. Um, and I don't need a ton of paint on there. I want it to look antique -y. I don't want it to look like it's slathered in paint. So. Sorry, sorry for the lousy camera work, but let's slap a guitar here and we will wait for this to dry and we'll do the, the other side. All right, so we're back after the guitar slap. Um, it's funny, I, was, I just noticed that we actually made the exact color of the official color of the Rusty Dusty Picker sticker. Jeez, I'm a poet all of a sudden. Um, Anyway, let's get back to work real quick. I'll just I'll just start to finish up um, the base of this thing. Once again, I guess it could be it could be used horizontally, but um, that's not for me to decide. That's for whoever buys it or it's gifted to. I do have um, I do have an idea of who might enjoy it. I do say might. Um, For no reason, no reason other than um, I really want to get the quality right somehow on this, and um, and we'll see. So anyway, we're good. I'm gonna have to let this dry now for a little bit, and um, do a little touch-up work, and then I'll do the very bottom once these sides are all. Are all dry, but I did want I did want to let you see that. So, all right, so we're we're still drying here, but what I'm doing now is doing just some just some random highlights. I don't know what you would call it. I'm just if you can see, I'm splashing on. That's a terrible word. I don't know what the actual word. There is no word for it. I don't think. But I'm getting just a e little extra paint on the brush, and I'll just giving it highlights like that. I get the paint off the brush and I'll just go over it a little bit. So now we've just added sort of a, you know, a um, uneven over application on purpose of color here. So, so you'll see that some, some, you know, in some places there's another spot. So I figured I'd share that, show you how I do it. Um, nothing too fancy, but um, hopefully it helps, uh, it helps the eye appeal for the piece. And then uh, once this dries, I will seal it and um, I guess almost be done. So we'll check right back. Okay, so we are completely dry now. The entire piece has been has been painted, stained, painted, and such. So simply going to spray a, uh, a coat of sealer on here, which will which will gloss it up nicely. And um, 
and then let that dry. So let me let me spray it now. All right, so we have a clear coat on it. We've got, uh, I'll show you what I used and then I'll show you the piece. We have this Design Master Dresden Clear Glaze. It's a gloss finish, which I like because it's gonna contrast with the um, the roughness of the the dog, the kind of un, uncleaned metal. So yeah, this is this is what we're looking at. This is what the, how it's come out. Did the whole piece. So so we're done. Not gonna get fancy. Not gonna try to attach this dog. Let me uh, put the doggy up there. And there you go. For the mantle for the side table somebody who eventually gets with this or if I gift it to somebody which I probably certainly will do um, they can decide what to do with it but I'll leave it like that so that's the um, that's the vertical version I I suppose you could do it horizontally as well nothing wrong with that so here's Pretty cool, pretty cool design here, and the the whiskers and the whole deal. I like the nuance of the back leg coming up, almost like the dog's got has its attention on something, his tennis ball or her tennis ball. Tail straight out. Anyway, let's not get carried away. So I'm going to call this done. Um, thank you for coming. Um, you know, if you want to subscribe, do that, and then when you go on YouTube, you'll see um, when more videos are posted. Thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't. Thanks for coming.